Hi friends! Are you facing problems in setting up a default network printer for all Windows XP users? Let's go ahead and see how you can troubleshoot the issue. First of all, create a system restore point before starting the troubleshoot process. To do so, click on the Start button and then click All Programs. Click Accessories and then click System Tools. Now click on System Restore. Select the radio button next to Create a Restore Point and then click Next. Type the description for the restore point and then click Create. When done, click Close. Now you can start the troubleshooting process by first creating a new user named Test. To do so, using the administrator account, click on Start, right-click on My Computer, and then click on Manage. Under System Tools, expand Local Users and Groups, right-click on Users, and then click on New User. Enter Test in the Name field, and then click on Create. Click on Close. Now you can check that a new user is created. Close the Computer Management window. Now click on Start, and then click on Control Panel. Double-click on Folder Options. Click on the View tab. Click on Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click to deselect the checkbox next to Hide Extensions for Known File Types, and then click on OK. Close the Control Panel window. Now log off the computer. Log on as the test user account that you created. Click on Start. Click on Printers and Faxes. Click on Add a Printer. Follow the instructions appearing on your screen to add a network printer. And then click on Finish. Once you have added the network printer, close the window. Log off the computer. Now log on with your administrator user account. To load the test registry hive, click on Start, click Run. Type regedt32 and then click on OK. Click on HKey Local Machine and then from the File menu, click on Load Hive. Navigate to Windows Installation Drive, Documents and Settings and then the Test Folder. Click on the ntuser.dat file and then click on Open. In the key name box, type Test and then click on OK. Now you need to insert the default user test registry file under HKey Local Machine. To do so, navigate to the test and then the printer's registry key. On the file menu, click on Export. In the file name box, type print.reg and then click on Save. Click on the Test Registry subkey, click on the File menu, and then click on Unload Hive. Click on Yes to confirm that you want to unload the key and all of its subkeys. Click the H key Local Machine Registry key, click on the File menu, and then click on Load Hive. Navigate to the Windows Installation Drive, Documents and Settings, and then the Default User. Click the ntuser.dat file and then click on Open. In the key name box, type Test and then click on OK. The default user test registry file is inserted under HKey Local Machine. On the file menu, click on Import. Open the folder where you have saved the print.reg file, click on print.reg and then click on Open. When you receive the message that the information in the print.reg file has been successfully entered into the registry, click on OK. The printer information is loaded into the default user registry settings. Click on the Test Registry key and then from the File menu, click on Unload Hive. Click on Yes to confirm that you want to unload the test key and all its subkeys. Close the Registry Editor window. See? That wasn't hard at all. Thanks for watching. To check out more related tech videos, click here. If you have any query or want to share something with us, click here. To get Ayogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.